Alright, I've decided that because I haven't created a Fortnite creative video on this channel, I'll just create one sharing my opinions on the maps and matchmaking. First off, this is just my opinion. How much I enjoyed a map shouldn't dictate how much you enjoy it. And second, please subscribe, it helps the channel out a lot and it's just one button and I don't want to show like this ever again. Just subscribe, please. Don't even look at the other videos on my channel, just do it. Thank you. <laughs> There's no real order to this, I'm kinda just going through them. So, here we go. First off, Zone Wars Paranormal by Dumb Blonde. For a map with Paranormal in the name, it's a very bland map. Really, it's just a few hills some purple and green lights, and a couple of gargoyles. It's honestly, it's not a bad map, but it doesn't really stand out. All right, next up, Zone Wars Crypt Curse by Pro's Partner. This is a more paranormal Zone Wars map than Zone Wars Paranormal. With a huge castle in the center with a couple of boost pads and the fact that you spawn in a graveyard, it definitely puts you in the spooky mood. Also, you can mine into the inside of the inside of the bottom layer of the castle. That's all I'm gonna say about that. The Catacombs, Locked in Gun Game by The Boy Dilly. I love this map. The concept, design, how it plays, but it's not perfect. I've been preaching this for a while, but get rid of crossbows and gun games. I understand that it fits the Halloween theme or whatever, but it's a catch-up mechanic for every other person in the game. Unless you're insane at the game, the only way you're gonna get past this gun is by getting extremely lucky and accidentally getting in a limb, or battling another person using the crossbow and getting lucky and eliminating them. You might be thinking that this is making this game mode more casual, but it's just not fun. I seriously doubt that casual players are being helped by the inclusion of this gun. Also, the chambers will sometimes close on only one person, but you can just emote to get out of the chamber if you get stuck, so it's not a big deal but this opens up some problems within itself. The main one being that this isn't shown anywhere on the map, and if it is, it isn't very clear at all. But overall, this map is very refreshing, even though it's just another gun game, but with a twist. It can be a bit rough around the edges, but its high points are much higher than its low points, and I can see myself coming back and playing this. Dark Minds Murder Mystery by I'm The Gaps. I don't see any murder mystery maps featured, especially in matchmaking, and to be honest... Wait, where's the footage? The map's out of matchmaking? Oh geez, yeah, I have to get this review done fast. Alright, uh, Apocalypse Zone Wars by Marsec. Uh, this is a more cursed Zone Wars than Zone Wars Crypt Curse. Uh, I don't really like competitive maps, and uh, throwing zombies in there just is not for me. And also you can fall into the abyss, which kinda sucks, I don't really like that. Also, you can create a base underneath the floating island. That's all I'm going to say about that. Alright, uh, Losh's Zone Wars by Losh. What a surprise. This is a more Apocalypse Zone Wars map than Zone Wars Apocalypse. Jokes aside, this is a pretty good map. I can appreciate the amount of game modes, and you can also join different FFA modes when you die, so you don't have to only do box fights or FFAs, even though you'll probably just do that anyways. Alright, next up, uh, Realistic Solos by uh, Pretty Boy. Uh, uh, Realistic Solos is probably my favorite of the competitive maps because of the multiple maps and the fact that you always get bounce pads and a launch pad. By playing a competitive mode, I'm playing this one. Alright, Shipwreck Shores, Freight Fight by Not Fury. Uh, you'd expect this to be a competitive map, but in the two games I've played while recording, I got 2v1 twice and still won. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Imagine being that bad that when you team up on me, you still lose. <laughs> oh, so, oh my goodness. Other than that, the map doesn't look, really stand out. No POIs are really memorable, and the starting game mechanic makes me pull my glider early, making me glide down for like a minute until I touch the ground. Like I've said before, not a bad map, just doesn't really stand out. Alright, X Speedboard by, uh. Not gonna try to say that name. I think that's just X Labo. This map is sick. I've been wanting to create a driftboard race map for a while now, but I'm glad that X Labo did it, because this is so much better than I could have done. The only thing holding this map down is the fact that when you lose your board, it's difficult to recover it, due to the fact there are basically no flat pieces, causing the driftboard to gain a mind of its own and run away from you with no chance of recovering it. If you can't tell by the footage in the background set to F-Zero music, this map is actually super sick, and I'm gonna revisit it, like, 
all the time. FFA Doomsday Bunker by Puzzler. This map is pretty fun and actually has a surprising amount of depth because of the multiple game modes and the surprisingly detailed map. Most of the modes have explosives in it, which ensures a more casual feeling where anyone can win. Overall, a very solid map. Alright, La Familia by Iscariot. Uh, this map is okay. The map is basically all primitive galleries, which is pretty cool, and the mini games are overall pretty interesting and fun. My question is. Where's the music? This might be an issue on my end, but no matter what I try, there just wasn't any music. Is there even any music? Are the levels just called songs? I'm not sure how to feel about this. Okay, Spy Within by KK Slider. I do not like this map. Oh, okay, hear me out. This is a mechanically impressive map, as well as being well decorated, but the game mode just isn't fun. I seem to be in the minority here because many people seem to be playing and enjoying this map. And you know what? More power to you. But I'd like to look at Tumble Lads as a comparison. Tumble Lads is an adaptation of a very popular game that actually makes sense. Death Runs and by extension Parkour are a very popular map type that works in Fortnite Creative. So creating a minigame collection with a theme similar to Fall Guys makes a lot of sense. This map is in permanent matchmaking and has already gotten countless map changes including an entire map makeover for Fort Nightmares and a new minigame. This map is also super fun. Just being able to race opponents and do whatever Pothole Royale is, is great. And I'm constantly revisiting this map. Now back to Spy Within. The gameplay in Spy Within is walking around, doing fetch quests, jumping on triggers, and interacting with a device for a couple of seconds. But this is only if you're a detective. If you're a spy, you can hide in the vents, sabotage, and eliminate people, which is much more interesting, but still a bit jank because you can only call sabotages in the vents. Also, at least to me, the kill distance is very jarring because it's all in first person, leading to multiple situations where I'll swing at someone, but be too far away to hit them. Overall, this map is very mechanically impressive and well decorated, but it just takes the problem with Among Us and it amplifies it. That problem being that being a crewmate is not as fun as being an imposter. And when your tasks are very watered down and repetitive, being a crewmate is so much less fun. Okay, that was a long one. Let's speed this up. Uh, Team Gun Fright Special Hub Challenge by Creative Minds. Uh, this map's pretty cool. I like uh, Gun Frights. I remember the one from last year. That one was fun. And this one is also uh, pretty fun as well. There are multiple maps, which is cool. I don't know. Let's just move on. Uh, uh, Pumpkin Rocket Champions by Senex. Come on, Senex. Stealing from Pumpkin Jack. Alright, look at Pumpkin Jack's castle. Now look at Senex's castle. Basically the same thing. As for the gameplay itself, eh, you know, a rocket launcher 1v1 isn't as cool as it sounds. You can just shoot under your opponent when they're descending to hit them, and because there's only one map, it's a very shallow experience. I'm probably not going to load into this one again. Never mind. Uh, this one, this one's, uh, this one's gone too. Alright, alright, let's finish this quickly. Alright, Soul Rest Mansion, Hide and Seek. Cool map, I like Hide and Seek maps. Don't pick this skin for this map. Gun Game Paradise Island, uh, pretty cool map, like the design, regular old gun game. Gun Game, Trick or Treatin', uh, cool map, I like the trick or treat mechanic, wish there were more tricks and treats. Werewolf Automated, cool map, just Town of Salem, barely any way to find out who the werewolf is. Down but down out, interesting map, don't use the skin, where is the escape tunnel? Oh, we're done. Wait, okay, one more matchmaking portal to go. I can do this. RTX Survive the Night Challenge by Jez Gran. Uh, I actually really like this map. There's a surprising amount to unlock in this map, and even with a squad of four, we couldn't conquer it. The fact that you can revive dead teammates for coins is a really cool mechanic, so I'm very scared to see how it plays single player. Alright, finally done. Oh, what's this in Featured? A map by AMD? RTX's competitor? Alright, let's see what this is about. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, oh no, no!